just want to do a real quick video. I got everything uh, pretty much wrapped up. I got a few things to tidy up, like uh, the receiver box, tucking all the wires in and everything. But I got everything all soldered up. I decided to do it myself this time because if you watch my previous video, you see that it failed because of this cold solder connection. Um, that was from me taking it to an RC shop and... This is like, that was like a good reason why not to trust somebody else with your soldering. So I soldered it myself this time. Um, but anyways, got everything all soldered up. Got the connections all done. Um, I programmed it myself and soldered everything. Got the cap pack back in. Um, if you're wondering why there's a sock there, that's because somehow in this process I forgot heat shrink tubing to buy some off of eBay. So... I'm trying to protect the wires with a with a sock. Kind of ghetto, I know, but it is what it is. But anyways, I'm going to turn this uh, thing back on and have it come alive. So, if you would, uh, bear with me. I'm going to try to do this with uh, holding the iPod. Ah, what the heck? But anyways, a connectors. It's hard to do this and hold the iPod and put two connectors together. But anyways, so here it is. That's forward. And then reverse. So basically it's all... Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Ah, uh, there we go. It's all set to go. But... I guess we'll go out and do something. I gotta replace that tire. I'll probably take that one's tires and put it on this one for right now either going to do another bashing session or I'm going to do a nice little uh, speed run so we'll see I haven't quite decided yet but like I said that's why I bought a Castle Creations it's one year warranty turned around got it back in nine days up and running already so well minus the heat shrink tubing but anyways that was uh, good with me, and it was uh, definitely worth it. Would I do it again? Yep. But it is what it is, and now I'm back up and running. Thanks for watching.